In this video, we will cover how to generate a structured response from your LLM model. Generally, when we use LLM model, the output comes in a normal text or in a raw string format. But here, what we are saying, is it possible to convert this text into a certain format like JSON so that it would be easier for other applications in your domain to leverage and utilize your Gen AI application. So how are we going to achieve it? So in Llama index, there are primarily two options. One is using output parser and other is Pydentic program. In this video, we are going to focus on output parser. Under output parser also, there are two options. One is we can use the Langchain package or we can use the guardrail. Our focus on this video is going to be on Langchain and how we can generate a structured output using Langchain. So we are primarily going to utilize this Langchain output parser and this package is going to depend on two things which we have to define in our code and that is going to be structured output parser and the response schema. Let's go over the code and see like how it can be done. So before going into the structured output parser code, let's execute the basic code first so that like we can see the output in the raw format and then compare it with what we are getting in the structured output format. First, we are going to execute this basic basic llama index code. So we have defined a data folder first. So in the data folder, we do have some files. Primarily, our questions are going to be related to this particular file. And in this particular file, we do have some context about the author on which we are going to ask few questions. To utilize this data folder, first of all, we are loading it using this simple directory reader and this simple directory reader you can find over here. So this is coming from llama index.core and after that just to load the files from this particular folder, we are going to use this load data method which would create a document and then we have to create an index on top of that document. So for that we are using vector store index. Again, it's coming from llama index.core and then we are defining a query engine and then we are asking a question on top of it. This is a very basic llama index code where actually you can pass your document and ask some questions on top of it. So let's try to run this code as of now. So I'm just calling this particular method and I'm just going to run this. So you can see like we have got this output. This is a one line output that we have got and, and this is in a text format or a, in a raw string format. Now let's try to go over the structured output code and let's see how we can convert it into our required custom format. So let's go over the code now. First few steps are going to be same. We still have to load the data. Then we still have to create the index on top of it. But then actually we have to define our output schema. So to define a schema, first of all, we have to initialize a list and under that list, we have to call this response schema. Now you can see this response schema is coming from parser and under this, we are importing two things. One is the structured output parser and the response schema as we have seen in our diagram. Now this output parser is going to help us to generate a response in the JSON. Now in the JSON, whenever you are defining something, we need to pass a key and value pair. In this case, how we can define those keys. So for that, we are going to use this response schema. So you can see like under the response schema, I am just giving two things as of now, the name and the description. And you can also define the type. It could be string, it could be list. You can define as, as per your request requirement, the default mode is going to be string. First key, what I want is going to be education and what kind of information it should be holding that I'm defining in the description. So this description field is also important, which should let your LLM model know what exactly you want in this field. The description I'm just saying, okay, describe the author's educational experience background. And then the second key I want in the JSON is work. And again, I am just giving some description, describe the author's work experience background. Once this is done, your response response schema is defined. You can also go ahead and add some few more fields you want to be part of your output. You can go ahead and add additional fields also over here, but just make sure like whenever you are defining any field, you also have to define it along with the description. Once your response schema has been defined, then we are going to utilize this structured output parser. And for that, we are just going to call like a structured output parser dot from response schema. And then we just have to pass the response schema, which we have defined over here. This will give you an output parser and this output parser, we just directly have to pass it under Langchain output parser. So this Langchain output parser is coming from llama index dot core dot output parser. And then we are importing this Langchain output parser. So now you must have noticed there are two packages involved. One is directly from Langchain where we are utilizing this structured output parser in response schema. One coming out of directly from llama index dot core dot output parser. And that is going to be Langchain output parser. So once your response schema has been defined and once your output parser has to be defined, this output parser, we have to pass it to Langchain output parser. This would give you the output parser 
and this output parser then we can go ahead and directly attach it with our model initialization so here you can see we are defining our llm model so this should be openai i am just going with the default one default openai model but you can also go ahead and put like model gpt4 or any other model which you want and then along with that you can see like and there is additional parameter which is output parser so i am utilizing this output parser parameter to pass my custom schema so you can define the output parser over here and after that once we define the llm we can pass it to a query engine and then we can go ahead and ask the same question what we were asking before let's try to run this and see what kind of output are we getting now so now you can see like we have got the output we have got this as a json with the open and close curly braces and then you can see the keys that we have defined so first key is education second key is work and the output what we are getting as of it is related to these keys and the description with what we have given so instead of getting this one line raw string now llm model knows what exactly we want and in what format we want so it will always try to align with that particular schema rather than just giving a free raw text response so what exactly is happening when we are defining this output parser we can just see the instruction which is being passed to this LLM model whenever we are defining our output parser just to see like what kind of instruction is being passed to LLM model we can use the output parser which we have defined over here and then we can pass the format this is the default text QA prompt template and this particular template is also coming from this llama index core dot prompt dot default prompt and this is the default one now because whenever we are defining our output parser this default prompt is getting updated let's see the instruction which is being passed to LLM model so i'm again going to run this code now so you can see the prompt which is being passed to LLM model the first few lines are going to be related to context and how we are controlling it here we are passing the context then it's saying like you have to answer based on the context which has been given and not based on the prior knowledge and then the important part is over here now this particular template is also being updated based on the schema which we have defined and here you can see because we have defined the schema as a education and work so the default type is a string it has also taken that description and it has updated the template to pass these instructions over here so you can see the output should be a markdown code snippet formatted in the following schema including the leading a trailing json so instructions are passed like this to generate the structure output like what we are getting over here that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.